Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a guest, which hello. this is actually the first time that I have had a guest in my new beauty room. So say hello to Fleur. Hello there. A lot of you guys know her already. We have collabed before a bunch of times, but it's been a while. It has been a while. It's very beautiful in here, I must I say. Thank you. It's delightful. Fleur approved. <laughs> this is kind of your style, actually. It is. Very gray. I'm yes. loving it. Yes. The old beauty room was like black, dark, everything. So this is like the nice change up. I mean, anyway, Fleur is over visiting and uh, we decided to sit down and talk about our favorite items. She is going to be posting on her channel the second half of this video, which is favorite, you know, like hair, body, sun care, kind of random other than makeup beauty items. But here on my channel, because it's like all makeup all the time, <laughs> we're just going to dive right into the very best products from the past month. Crap, wait, what month is this? It's June, June favorites. June. Oh. How did that happen? No. Halfway through 2016. The guest always goes first. You're going to share uh, your one of your favorites from the past month. I am. And this one is a bit special because Tati actually gave this to me. It's the Lorac Pro palette. We saw each other about three weeks ago, yeah. like a month ago. And I've been using this nonstop since then. I love it. It has a really good mixture. It's like half matte, half shimmery, right? I didn't mm -hmm. actually realize yeah. that it's exactly yeah. half and half. I love the matte shades in this so much. They blend so beautifully. And what I love about it as well, it's this kind of like pink nude mm -hmm. toned. I'm with you on that one. I'm still you loving love it? this. Yeah, I use it all the time. And what I like about these as well is they're so slim and they fit so many colors in. I travel a lot and it's just really convenient for throwing in my bag and it's not gonna break. You know what I mean? No, like it's, it's still safe. It's still fairly sturdy. We're gonna continue with the eyes. So I, you guys know, I haven't been the biggest fan of Dose of Colors lip products for me. They didn't work out and a lot of people were like, oh my God, no, how dare you? You know, because <laughs> everybody seemed to love them, but they didn't work out for me. And being that everybody had so much love for this brand, I was like, I have to try something else. And I picked this up from Namie's. This is the Dose of Colors Ideal Duo. This is the shade Shell. And what's cool about this is you get this little top portion, which is your cream. You get a little mirror in here. And check it out. It's this like color super, is amazing. Super shiny. This is like a rose gold, which I know you love. Um, and the bottom portion is it. a pigment, but it is super shiny. Oh, I so love it. this is like the I perfect. Need it. <laughs> I know, right? It's so nice. It's the perfect thing just to easily pile on the lid, or you can do an inner corner highlight. I'm wearing that today. And it stays put. The cream helps the pigment to just kind of lock in. So I've been loving this. My next one, staying on the eyes again, is a liquid liner. I love liquid liner. I wear it pretty much every day. This is the new one from Lancome. Oh, what the Look heck? at this. Woohoo. <laughs> it's like it's a just, little crazy. It like, like you just broke that. You know what? This is their main selling point with it is this, so you can get the line. But I don't actually use it. I just use it straight. Oh, really? Okay. However, it's the actual formulation of this liner is amazing. It dries really really quickly from a very very liquidy texture to super super matte and the applicator is a sponge but it's like Ooh. it's very bent like look at this it's very bendy it's bendy yeah i like that you need Are to you try this, this right i am wearing this one because your liner so very is like super super matte yeah and it is hot as you can't you cannot even imagine I'm and we're so like mad. we're sitting i like light my skirt too. Too. <laughs> and me too and the thing is your makeup is not smearing so a plus it's not i feel like yeah. i'm really no, shiny right now because it is that hot how hot is it outside like 100 Over degrees 100. yeah and <sighs> i don't get this hot in england but this uh, stuff is amazing seriously absolutely love it and i think it came out like last week i need it so it's new you I do need it. I need it and they also do it in this amazing like cobalt blue Ooh. which I think you would like. Really? Yep. I like that. I'm going to have to look into that. Yep. Okay, so this is a newer discovery over the past month, but a lot of you guys are tweeting me and you're like, so which is it? The La Mer or La Prairie? And you guys want like an actual answer on this. I thought I covered that in the video, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think I was completely clear. La Prairie is for the win. This has no shimmer in it. It is completely matte but it does not cake and your skin just looks beautiful and flawless and not heavy. And if you are someone that likes to pile on the powder, like <laughs> me, I just tend to like, when I do bake, I just like, I really go in crazy. And this has been the best powder I have ever used for that. La Mer is still great, but that's more like for all over, I would prefer that. And then actually, wait, let me throw this out there. La Mer is more for winter. La Prairie. Okay, here we go. La so you need them both, just, basically. You need them both. Um, but this one is actually the little travel guy. 
And I like using the travel guide because I actually open it straight it's up. It's pretty big anyway. Without the sifter. Yeah, you get this and then you get a giant one too. So filming these videos bad. with you is so bad for my wallet. It's bad for I mine too. Everything. I'm like, I'm still eyeing that liner. So. <laughs> my next favorite is a mascara from Tarte. I actually have a couple of Tarte products. I love them so much. Their products at the moment, I feel like they keep launching new things and they're amazing. This is the Tartist mascara. If you like a little bit clumpy, you know that like lots mm -hmm. of volume, but the like right that. amount of clump, like not spider leggy, but mm -hmm. like a little bit of clump. It's really good. Very, very lengthening. It doesn't smudge on me at all. And you've always liked their mascara though. I do. This I like time their... last year, I feel like you were on a different mascara. The lights, camera, <laughs> yes. flashes one yeah. is really good as well. The gold one. It's on the wish list. <laughs> okay, so I have something, you know, I talked La Prairie and Dose of Colors, and now we're going to the drugstore. We're talking about something super affordable. This is my very favorite foundation for natural makeup right now because it is the easiest thing and not to like, I don't want to label myself as like when I'm lazy, but there are days when I wake up and I'm like, oh, everyone has those days. Come this, on. You know? And look, but people think that I always wear this kind of makeup 24 seven and I totally don't. But something like this just helps you feel a little more polished and you literally squeeze a bit in your hand and it transforms to your perfect skin shade. You wanna get the right tone, so there is a light, medium light, and then medium, but it will completely like, oh, wow. transform. And it's actually not just like that light transform where it's like a, you know, blends into just a moisturizer. There is actual color here. So I put it on literally like just like that, and it looks beautiful. Like I feel like my skin looks the best when I'm wearing something kind of natural like this lately in real life. In pictures, maybe something heavier, but for real life, this is so good. Because you have really good skin anyway. Thank you. My next thing is another thing from Tarte. I'm moving on to the lips, and it is this double-ended lip sculptor, it's mm -hmm. called. This is the color Sass, but I also have a nude one, which we were just talking about. I think mm -hmm. it's Bare? No, um, Basic. Basic. I knew it was something like that. It's okay to be basic sometimes. <laughs> um, I have that one as well, but I couldn't find it. I think it's having a little adventure in my handbag right now. I'm like looking up here because I'm like, where, <laughs> like, where is, is it? <laughs> I really love these. Again, I'm a big fan of anything travel friendly. They have a lipstick on one end and a gloss on the other. The lipstick formula is like so creamy and amazing. And it tastes like vanilla, which is like my favorite lip product. They scent. do smell really good. They smell really good. And I just really love the texture, especially the lipstick. I'm actually only wearing the gloss now. Um, but yeah, you can layer them up or you can use one or the other. I really like it. Speaking of lips, you want to make sure that your lips are hydrated and exfoliated. And this is another Lazy Girl product. This is like your two-in-one. You can pick this up at Target. Super affordable. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Nourishing Lip Polish. Now, the lip formula in here is actually not granular at all. It is very smooth. It's just like your basic balm. But what's cool about this is it has these little plastic nubbies on the tip. So when you put this on, you are really amping up the circulation in your lips, which is going to make your lips look bigger. <laughs> but it also exfoliates too. Just make sure if you really like go in and you're like exfoliating the crap out of your lips to like give it a good wipe down. Yes, yeah, so you don't have gross lip like gross gunk. Gross lip gunk in there. Um, kind of nasty, but it really works. And I love this, especially like... You know when sometimes you get chapped lips throughout the day and you're like, how do I even start over with my lip look? Like something like this will fix that in a snap. I like that as well because I don't like the grainy stuff. You know when you have to like wipe it off or like it's wash like, it off? Yeah. yeah, it's kind of gross. I have a lip balm product as well, which I know you have because it's sitting right there. <laughs> this Twins. is the Gerla Super Lips Lip Hero. This is basically a plumping lip balm that is just wonderful. The texture of it. I don't even it's know so how good. to describe it. It's just so smoothing and delicious and juicy. It, it gives you like juicy plumped lips. Yeah. Which Without is never a bad overly thing. overly greasy or slimy. It's the it's such a good texture. Yeah. And it's it doesn't really have nice. that tingliness either, which I do yeah. quite like, but a lot of people don't like that tingly lip balm. Hell no. Sensation. You don't I like that. I quite like it, but I know mm -hmm. it's very hit and miss. This doesn't have that. It's pretty pricey. How much is it over here? I don't even want to know. Probably about $30, I would me. say. <laughs> I know it's 20 pounds in the UK, which makes me think it's probably about $30 over here, but yeah. it's pricey, but it's really good. It's good. Speaking of pricey, this is something that I've been showing off on Snapchat. This is like new addition to the family, front and center. <laughs> uh, this is the most gorgeous cream eyeshadow. This is from Tom Ford. This is the shade Sphinx. 
It is hard Beautiful. to get a hold of this sucker. I had to order it from a store in another state and have it shipped and it was like a whole thing. Really? But if you Great see day. this, grab it because I, I want to say it's limited, but it is such an unusual shade. Sitting here, it looks straight gold. But if you were to go outside in the sun, you would see like this magenta, violet, duochrome type of a hue. And it is just really unique and really beautiful. Tom Ford in my book very, very rarely goes wrong. Like most of the products are just so nice. So that's like, I'm dying over it. Such I love a good it. color. Yes. My last one is a lip liner. And I don't use lip liners that often, which I know you're probably like, oh. I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to lip liners, but this one, I'm like I use three lip liners <laughs> and um, this one is Primrose from Marc Jacobs and I really like the color. It's kind of like a deep, my hands are so clammy right yeah, now because it's I'm so like... hot, I can't even open it. I'll open it in the close up for you guys. Um, it's kind of like a deep rose color that you can use like with nude and then mix it together and it kind mm. of goes a little bit lighter or you can actually use it with darker colors. I find it's quite adaptable yeah, yeah it's I a like very that. morphing lip liner but i really like it and i like the formula as well because it's not too draggy i hate it's that. very creamy That's but it stays uh, on. yeah 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 totally know what you mean okay yeah. so my ooh, i have two <laughs> i'm gonna kind of put them do, both in put them both in do two at once okay really quickly i just want to say oh my god this is the best thing that ever happened to my skin oh, this is the cover fx custom like, bro, after this video I'm <laughs> custom enhancer drops this is in Celestial. Um, I like all of them. Uh, and How many colors are there? There's four that are really metallic and two that are really bronzy. But this just goes such a long way. And the thing that I love about this, it's a liquid highlight that does not look like crap on top of powder. So if you already have your face finished and you want more highlight, you can still go in. It, it will blend and not grab and be like, Chunky. You can still like kind of dab it. Yeah, yeah, you know how sometimes you use a cream and you're like, well, oh. that was a mistake. <laughs> it like you know? moves your whole face. Yeah, you're like, great. Um, <laughs> it does not do that. It's awesome. And then I want to update you guys. I I feel a little bit bad that I went a little bit strong with being critical on this brand right here, Blend Smart. I did a first impressions for WTF and the foundation brush. I've tried it again your guys' request, not using, you know, kind of swirly motions, which I did do that incorrectly. I can admit it. I just have a tendency to want to blend my makeup, but you are supposed to just go up and down, side to side. I did that on some parts of my face and it still didn't blend the way I wanted to. I have footage of that, but long story short, I tried it again, exactly how you're supposed to do it. Not the biggest fan of the foundation brush head itself, but, but wait, <laughs> the powder brush. Is this the powder brush? Yeah. yeah. Oh my freaking God, this will completely like blend out any mistakes, apply cream bronzer. I actually like contouring the nose by going like this. Do you this. use it for powder? Ooh. Are you talking about use the powder brush for cream? No, you use it for anything, just not foundation. I use this for powder. I use it for blush, bronzer, cream bronzer, contour, everything, because I figured out how to not just use it here, but to really use the edges. The edges. And it's just awesome. So I have to say Blend Smart. This part of it, like the brush heads here, freaking awesome. And uh, I love it. <laughs> My audience went hard. You guys went hard on really? me. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I can admit when I make a mistake. <laughs> All right. So, oh my God, I'm like a puddle right now. I am so hot. Ugh. Right. Okay. So we're going to go and jump in a pool. Um, just kidding. So we're going to go and um, film the next part. Film the next part. <laughs> Damn it. We're not done. Um, make sure you go over to Fleur's channel to see part two. I am going to link that video below. And also be sure to hit the subscribe button because her channel is awesome. And you've always been, no, you've always been an inspiration to me from day one. I watched her channel way before we were even friends, like a creepy stalker, and I'm not afraid <laughs> to say that. So go subscribe, and I hope you watch part two of our favorites. And thank you for being on my channel. Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. All right, we will see you guys uh, hopefully over on Fleur's channel. If not, have an excellent day. Bye, guys. Bye. Mwah. 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 <laughs>